Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today. What's the fuss? Well, today I have for you a Dollar Tree haul. Went to a Dollar Tree up in Berwick, Pennsylvania. Yes, I've been there probably about a handful of times already. Um, they had lots of merchandise in their day. Oh Lord, did they have the merchandise. And I found lots of goodies. I got lots of beauty health hygiene products and I also got a few food items um most of this stuff a good majority of it is all new to me and i want to tell you i never knew dollar tree had paper bags before none of the dollar trees i've ever been in for as long as i've been in a dollar tree never have i seen a paper bag until today i'll show you a glance at it so here we are we have a dollar tree paper bag it's just a couple inches short of a full-size paper bag in height. And there's its width. I mean, yes, I have to show that paper bag because I am just enthralled that I got a paper bag today. Okay, yes, you can mark that on the weirdo list again. But, um, and they're not um, too thin. They're pretty thick. And actually, I have a, a second one. Um, don't have the, any merchandise. I just asked for a second one because I want to double this and I'll have it for when I go out shopping, whether it be, um, to Aldi's grocery store or any other place, these paper bags come in handy. So, so anyway, we're going to start with this and it is a beautiful sunny day and you see the sun shining in through the upper windows up there of my home. Oh, let's see. That's my sofa that I normally sit on. And yes, these big giant patio windows in this house and my blanket, excuse the mess, but that's where I spend most of my time. And I, I need a block blanket um, for laying on the couch. And that. I, so that blanket's mostly there almost every single day and evening. So um, like to sometimes just get under the cover a little bit or I like to like fold it in half. It's um, it is not a uh, feather blanket on the inside. It's not that it it has polyfill in it, but um, it's super warm, super soft. Also, nice and plush. Um, bought it in Walmart probably about four or five years ago. It's a hotel quality um, comforter. Um, that's what it's called. I think they might still sell them. It's like a top of the line type of um, quilt from Walmart. So anyway, you can check their website for it if you're interested in that. I like to fold it in half and just lay on it. It adds extra comfort underneath my body when I'm not wrapped up in it like a taco. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, beautiful sunny day. Got to about 60 degrees here today in Sugarloaf, Pennsylvania, which is part of Cunningham. And, um, yeah, let's just get into this Dollar Tree. Okay, I haven't had a bag of these in God knows when. I don't care what company makes them. They always taste great. This is from the Coastal Bay. These are the hard candies, the hard tack, which is what I always grew up hearing, hard tack. <laughs> um... They are the strawberry filled artificial flavored strawberries. 12 ounces of these. Just about a pound. Um, a buck and a quarter. Love these. Also picked up. And there's some more in here. Just hold on, please. Okay. Then I picked up. That's me rattling that paper bag. These are also by Coastal Bay. These are the hard tack cinnamon flavored, artificially flavored, natural fat free, zero trans fat. This is 10 ounces of the cinnamon flavored hard tack candies. My husband likes anything that has to do with the cinnamon lately, whether it's hard tack candy or whether it is the fireball candies. I was looking for those. I didn't see them in the store I was in today, so I'm not sure. Does Dollar Tree have them or not? Does anybody know? If you do, leave it down in the comments, please. Yes, he likes these. He likes taking them to work with them, so keeps his mouth, you know, a little moist or something because it is kind of dry and 
in the factories. So, got him a bag of those. Also, picked up... This is new to me. Oh, God, when I seen this, I had to grab two bags. You know me, people. Salted caramel. I usually get the salted caramel bags from General Dollar. And they're usually a dollar, but this is a buck and a quarter. And I think it's roughly, yes, it's the same ounces. Three ounces as the ones that are in Dollar General. But this is by Landmark Confections. Salted caramel, same thing. It's that caramel with the milk chocolate and then the sea salt sprinkled over it. It says, Landmark Confessions chocolate sea salt caramels are the perfect snacks to bright, perfect snack to brighten your day. Bits of caramel dipped in premium milk chocolate and sprinkled with crystals of sea salt. Those mouth-watering bites are perfect for sharing, gift-giving, or snacking. And these are Best Buy February 20th of 2025. Um, if you can catch that right there stamped on the bag in the blue. So, um, yes, these are manufactured in a in a facility that processes products containing egg, wheat, peanut, almond, Brazilian nut, and pecan ingredients. And they are distributed for green black right there in that last bottom square where the barcode is. So, like I said, I love my salted caramel. So, I got me two bags of these. I don't know what other chocolates they have because I, when I seen these, I, I went, um, blindsided or whatever you want to call it. I was like um a deer in headlights I was like oh my god salted caramel chocolates so yeah got those I love anything with salted caramel people from wax to, to actually eating salted caramel my husband and me also as I continue on with this Dollar Tree haul me and my husband had stopped at a maze M-A-Y apostrophe S maze drive-in. There are several of them here through um, this area um, around me. There's one in um, Berwick. That's where we stopped today. There's one in Bloomsburg. There's one further down, a little bit past Bloomsburg. I can't remember what that is called. And there's one in Ashland. That's four that I know of. It's a hamburger, hot dog, um, French fry ice cream stand that has soft and hard ice cream and, you know, all those kind of basket things like the hot dog in the basket, the um, fish sandwiches, the chicken fingers, anything like that, you know. So he wanted to stop there to get an ice cream. So we both ended up with an ice cream. I just went with the plain Jane every day, happy me. Wait for cone with... um. Vanilla soft serve. Oh, my God. It was so good. It had such flavor to the vanilla. And you can really taste the cream part of the ice cream. You, you really got the cream taste. It was very delicious. Of course, my husband, he got a cone also, wafer cone. And it was, I think he might have got maybe the medium or the large because it was quite a bit on that cone. Um, it's almost like kind of tilting a little bit because of the weight top heavy and he had it covered in those rainbow sprinkles first ice cream of the season so far for both of us my husband loves ice cream so anyway just wanted to let you know we made a quick stop there so um i picked these up these are new to me these particular flavors i've never seen them ever before so they might be new all the way around but they're definitely new to me this is the Colina, if I'm pronouncing this right, this is the C-O-L-O-N-N-A. Colona Ranch Seasoning for dips, dressings, and more. 3.5 ounces of this. Never seen this before until now. And this is good until two, February 7th, 2026. This is dated out, but we'll be using this on um, some chicken breasts or chicken legs or chicken thighs to flavor them. That's what I'm going to be using this for, and 
I have a feeling it's going to be really good because I've had their products before. And I'm going to be picking more of this up. So I'm sure there's a lot of other things you can do with it. Like it says for dips, dressing, and more. So got this wrench. Also from the Corona Company. This one is new to me too. This is two ounces. This one is dated January 30th of 2026. This one is in the tomato basil seasoning right here. Also great for putting on anything, really anything. I guess you could put this in your own your own homemade tomato sauces. You could sprinkle this probably on hamburgers and chicken and all those kind of things to add flavor. Okay. Another one I got by Kelowna. This is the salt-free garlic and herb seasoning, 2.5 ounces. This one is salt-free. So, got that. And this one good, is good till January 3rd, 2016. But they won't last that long because in my house, I like to flavor up the food. So, then I found these. These kind of look like the stacks from Pringles. That's S T X. YX stacks. These are called Super Snack. And these are 5.5 ounces, as tall as the Pringles potato chips are and the other ones that's on the market. The picture, of course, is enlarged to show the texture. And it is in cheddar cheese flavored potato crisps. And these are manufactured by Super Puffed. P-U-F-F-T, Puffs Snacks. So, um, buck and a quarter. So I picked up, again, improvising people, two of the cheddar cheese. And I also picked up two in the sour cream. Right here. One for each of us. And, um... I thought there was a third flavor, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, 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 I hate when that happens. I say that, and then boom, it pops in my mind. They, they were also in salt and vinegar. That's what the other flavor was. So, um, I picked up the two that we like the most, you know, in potato chips, um, were like big barbecue flavored potato chips fans and also sour cream and, and, and cheddar. So that's why I chose those. Um, salt and vinegar is good. Um, maybe I'll try them um, next time when I go there. So that takes care of the food items. Now, I picked up this. This is super soft. Oh, my God. This is so super, super soft. It is really long. It is a towel. It's huge. This is for um, driver. It's by Driver's Choice. Soft, super soft microfiber cloth. 16 inches by 24 inches. It is. It, it feels like a plush um, bunny rabbit or, or something that it is super, super soft like cotton. And yes, you can use this to wash your car, buff your car, shine your car, your truck, your RV, whatever. Personally, I'm not using it for that reason, though. I'm going to be using this for possibly wrapping my hair in after I've washed it. it is that big enough to wrap around your head and it will absorb um, excess water and stuff like that. That's why I bought it. Not for a vehicle. You can do whatever you want with it. Just because it says driver's choice does not necessarily mean you have to use it for your vehicle inside or out. I'm using this to tie up all that long hair after I, I get out of the bath or the shower. I thought that's it's perfectly good for that reason. So, um, I even might get a second one when I go back again. Because I just can't get over how... Oh my God, it's just so, so soft. Um, 
I just thought of another reason for it too. Um, maybe there's days where you can't get in and out of the shower fast enough or in and out of the bath fast enough, and maybe you just want to sponge bathe up at the sink. You can wet this with your favorite soap, some warm water, hot water, whatever you use, and you can wash your body down from head to toe by, you know, sponge bathing. So that's another purpose for it. Um... Okay, now, the other day I had talked about this beauty product. It's by um, Global Beauty. And I had gotten the, I can't remember now, it was in the Aqua Box um, Collagen. It was the Collagen line. Today I picked up the Glowing one. I do not buy all the products. There are five to each of them. But just one is in the vitamin C, the other one is in the collagen. All the same exact products, five in each line. So today I picked up two of the products. I picked up this one here. It's one fluid ounces of the Global Beauty Care Glowing Vitamin C Facial Serum with my um, niacinamides and AHA apostrophe S and vitamin E. Oh, the AHA is alpha hydroxy acids. And it has vitamin C and vitamin E in here too. So I picked this up for a buck and a quarter. Definitely worth its money. Also picked up the glowing vitamin C skin cream. And this is 1.7 ounces. So I got the vitamin C in this. This is for um It says here, our formulas contain luxurious concentrated ingredients to reboot skin health, moisturize, and recharge for smoother looking skin. Include in your daily skincare regime for a youthful glow. It tells you all about this here on the side. And this also... Um, as well as other many products that you will find in Dollar Tree concerning um, health and beauty. This here is fragrance-free, sulfate-free. I don't know what that other thing is, something free. Silicone-free, alcohol-free, not tested on, on any animals um, for all skin types. Giving back community, whatever that's about. Non, oh Lord, I hate to say this word. Non- Homogen Comed Comedogenic. I guess that's how you say it. Comedogenic. I don't know. And pH balanced. It's all on the back right there. So, got those. Then I picked up this beautiful barrette. Um, it also came in black. It is a flower. It is one piece. It's by Goody um, Fashion Now. And it's a blue silk flower. And it has the, um, I call it a long roach clip on here. So it just goes up in your hair. Very, very pretty. The blue or the black. Maybe there's other colors, but this is a nice royal blue. And I chose this one too up in my hair like this it's gonna look really nice up there so then I picked up this now this here is from the softy that's s-o-f-t-e-e -E, Brazilian mango um this is a daily moisture hair body and scalp oil Natural oils and botanicals extract formula. This is also free of parabens, mineral oil, phosphates, sulfate, and petroleum. It is 1.5 ounces. And it says, around the circle thing up there with the lady in there, it says, wavy, curly, coily, and kinky, and straight. Whatever hair type you have and 
It says apply to wet or dry hair and scalp evenly for complete distribution. Root to tip. And there's more about it, but I'm not going to read it all. This is in the mango. They also had this in olive oil, and they also had it in, I can't remember. There was another scent. I can't remember, but a buck and a quarter for this. I chose the mango one for now. Then I got one of these trial sizes. This is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula. This is not the um, coconut butter. It's the coconut oil body lotion. Raw coconut oil harvest from the coconut palm, it says. This is 24-hour moisture. This is 1.7 fluid ounces. Formulated with... It, I'm not sure what that says there. But anyway, it's a good source of ingredients, it says. It said, made with fair trade coconut oil and, I don't know, I can't read it. It's just too small. But this is a mini baby trial size of the Palmer's coconut oil, not the cocoa butter. So got this. Great, you could stick it in your purse, keep it in your glove compartment, keep it in your console of your vehicle, or a diaper bag, whatever. You can never go wrong. So, then I found another deodorant. This is by Power Stick 2. And this is a, another roll-on one. I got the milky one, and I forgot what the green one was again. I seen both of those there, but I also seen this one. This is Power Stick for her. pH balanced roll-on antiperspirant and deodorant. Fresh powder scent. 1.8 ounces. Just the right size. Traveling. Or if you need to... Um, brushing up, whatever, in your gym bag, your purse, whatever. So, got this one. This smells really nice, too. Buck and a quarter for uh, a roll-on. That, that is um, fairly cheap because they even sell secret in there. So, whatever floats your boat, you're able to find it. So, then, I found these. This is where I almost had my heart in my throat. I thought, what the hell happened to them? The display was not even open. It was on the floor. It was sealed in plastic to hold it um, together so things wouldn't fall out and off those plastic hooks that are put into the cardboard big display to hold these items. You'll know what I'm talking about. I ripped it open. I did not give one iota that um, I was a little brave today. Um, I, I didn't care that it wasn't open. I, I tore it open myself right on the floor. It was sitting there, and I ripped the plastic off of it. Um, I'm sure there's another piece to it or something where they hang it up, or maybe it props up some other way. That's up to them to do what they need to do with it. I looked it over. I seen all these products in it, and I ripped it open myself, the cellophane, to get into it. And it is by... Ioni. There's a new line out. It's called Bon Voyage. There's a whole bunch of products in it. Look for it in your Dollar Tree. But I grabbed these two things because this is what caught my eye the most. This is paraben free, hydrates, nourishes, and moisturizes. This here is called Africa. Okay. And it is a picture of Africa. There's even zebras on the back. And this here is a shea butter lipstick and it, apparently the color is like a it's like a mauvey mauvey brown or something it's really nice I was the first one to rip into the bag the box of these so got this one here I hope you can see this here without the the glare oh my god there. It's a mauve, it's a, it's a mauve color. So I got that. I don't, if it is called anything, maybe it's D, that's D-E, Kyrate, chi, Kyrat, whatever. So got that. Then I chose this one. This one here is Shea Butter Lipstick also. 
Oh, no, that isn't its uh, name. Because that word is also on this one, too. I have no idea what it's... Oh, oh, I found it. Let me bring the Africa back. It's right here on the back. It's called Moth, right there on the white sticker. I don't know if you're getting that. But it says mauve. It's a mauvey, rosy pink kind of a color. And this one here is more pink. And it says Shanga or something is the name on there. Shanga. And this one here is it's a pink shade. I'm trying to do the best I can to get that glare off there. And it says... Um, yeah, the color is known as nude pink. Let's see here. Uh, this says China silk on the back there, if you see that right there, where China silk is there. What does this one say? Safari nude. So, grabbed both of those. There was so much other products you need to look for this play. Bon Voyage is what they're calling this line. It's right there on the back even. Bon Voyage. So, then I found the more stuff. I needed some super glue. Now, I've seen more super glue than I've ever seen in one day in the Dollar Tree day, let me tell you. This here is the ones they always carry. But they had variety. They had the like the plastic thingy, and then you squeeze it on its side, and, and the glue comes out that way with a little cap on. Like it's um, you keep pinching the sides in on it. They also had it in the regular super glue. They had it also in the one-time use ones, the little tiny ones. You get three or four on a card. And they also had it in this size, in the regular and even the gel. So I chose the gel today need this. I need it for things that I break. <laughs> and I also need this for putting on the false nails. This works just as good as the nail glues because I think that actually is a super glue. So, um, yeah, I chose the gel formula. There was a lot of glue in that place today. Let me tell you, there was a lot of, um, clear, clear tape that's like on the big humongous rolls like packaging tape, but in the cellophane um, kind, you know, like an over wide uh, width, like that wide of um, a scotch tape on the big giant rolls. They even had that in their day. I've never seen that before. Usually you might find electrical tape or some other kind of packaging tape or something, but they had loads of that there too. So then I found nails. Speaking of nails, yes, I found some. Okay, I found these ones. These caught my eye. This is the new LA Colors Creamy Neon Coffin Style Artificial Nail Tips. It says, of course, the glue is not included. And this is such a pretty color. I would call it like a soft peach or something, but they're calling it Sunrise. Lots of new nails are out. You got to look for these. Um, and also a display box with the little hooks. There are so many different colors that's out, but I chose these. I like peach. So then I picked up this pair. Now this is by the seven nails again, or seven nails or how that's pronounced. This is, you know, for people who have smaller fingers like me, this is the 12 piece and it says made for kids. You know, little girls and stuff like that. But if you have small fingers and small hands like me, this will work. I don't know what they're calling this one. I don't even know if they have names for these. I usually just go by what I'm looking at, which is the nail itself. I'm not sure. I'm looking over this box. But this one here has, it appears to be either oranges or peaches. Love it. Then... I found another set of nails here. This is 12 piece and this is by the B color. This is the stiletto shape. Um, again, glue's not included. I'm looking to see if it has a name. I 
don't see one. But this is in white, soft pink, a beige, and a caramely brown color. If you can see that right up there. I thought these were really, really nice. A neutral. All right. Then I picked up one more package. You can never go wrong with these. This also by Be Pure. This is the Jelly Fashion Nails. A stiletto shape again. You can, you know, cut these down and shape them if you need to. Um, to what works best for you. Just get a good pair of um, nail clippers and a good file to, you know, smooth out the, after you cut it to make it, you know, nice and smooth where you trimmed it. In case you want these in shorts, you can shorten them yourself. So, um, 12 piece and this here, I don't see a name on what they're calling this one either, but it is a jelly shape and I would say it's kind of like a light plum or a light Merlot color. It, it really pretty. And they're in a gel, jelly. So, got those. Okay, then I found some eyeshadow. Oh my God, I seen so many eyeshadows in that store today. It was, it was, uh, it, it was ridiculous. Multiple different companies and so many um, colors. I seen nudes, I seen purples, I seen um, a variety for all color eyes. Or just your favorite that you, you like, no matter what color your eyes are. But I chose this one for the summer. I have something like this already in these kind of colors. I had gotten it in Dollar General. I am, can't remember what they're calling it, but um, it came in a longer, thinner case like this way, side by side with a multitude of um, colors, but in this kind tropical, what I call tropical or tropical heat, or maybe you want to just call them oranges and peach colors, but I got one. It's really good. The pigment is really good in it. it you do find it Dollar General. You might find them even at Walmart, but this, I just can't remember the name of the company. I can't remember who makes it because even the tray, the plastic tray is clear on the top. The bottom part has that peachy orangey color to it just like this one does but two different companies so I picked this one up by LA Colors right here it's those peachy oranges and pinks and a mauve in there um it says um new and improved they're calling this night out night n-i-t-e night out six color eyeshadow crease proof color And this is 0 0.14 ounces of this. You get six colors to play around with. Um, it looks like it's some mattes and some, like, shimmers are, are mixed in here. Really, really nice. I, I thought this would be great for the summer. And even late spring or early spring. This will get you through... All those months if you like these kind of shades and I do reminds me of tropical tropical fruit you know like papayas mangoes reminds me of like a tropical um, sunset or sunrise it, it reminds me this would I'm talking about makeup right now but I keep thinking about the sensationals wax melt beach please these kind of colors is on that label. And that is one of my favorite scents, too. So, yeah, check these out. There's got to be something there that you like. So, got these. And these are doing really good LA colors. They really go on a lot better than they used to because other times they kind of like crumble and they didn't go over your eyelid right. Um, maybe you need to wear a primer with them, but this is new and improved, and they go on a lot better, and you don't need no eye primer, unless you still choose to wear it yourself, but got this one. All right, then I found a lipstick um, that will actually go with those colors, or, or is it a lip gloss? I'm not sure here. Oh, 
Oh, it's a blush, but hey, you can dab it on your lips with a with a lipstick um, brush if you have one. Because I think most of these makeups, um, you know, between creamy blushes and and creamy eyeshadows, they're they're they're, they're multiple use. You can use them on your eyes, cheeks, and lips. So anyway, I got this one. It's called Hip Hypnotized, and it is um, kind of like a coral a brownie coral type of a color and it's 0 0.28 ounces right here it actually goes perfect with those eyeshadows let me show you here do you see what i mean oh god this glare what can i do about this let me see if i can put this up here like this I'll try to put it up top. It goes with it. It goes with it real good. Perfect match. And you can use some of this pink that's in this corner here. Depending on your skin complexion. This one right here, you could dab a little bit and, and you can, you know, use this and then put this on top. However you want to do it. You really don't need to spend a fortune on money. As long as you have... Um, a three-in-one that will work, will work for your eyes, cheeks, and lips, or two products like this and maybe an eye pencil and mascara, you're set. You don't need to clog your face up with tons of makeup um, to enhance your beauty. So, also, pick this one up. This is also new and improved. This is a hydrating stick lipstick. It is in the um, color Sherbert and... It's cruelty-free, and it is 0 0.11 ounces. It says vitamin E and aloe vera is in it to improve it. I'm trying to get that in there for you. It's called Sherbert. It is really nice. It is like, um, I'd say, a, a dark rosy type of a pink. It is really pretty, the color. Almost like something like... Um, Maybe a, a raspberry shade, too. It's really nice. Got that. That would also go great with the, the ones I just bought. These eyeshadows. Perfect. So, you can have a lip, lip, lipstick and a gloss to change it up. And, actually, these nails that I got right here. This, um, the B color ones. The ones in the... Um, stripes. If you bought all four of these products, or even these ones, this would go absolutely great at, in a gift basket or a little bag for somebody who likes makeup or just starting to wear makeup. You can buy all five of those products and they match each other really well so then we're down to two more lip glosses now i showed one of these one of my previous dollar tree hauls here just a few days ago this is by la colors also it winds up like a lipstick it is a lip balm it's called cutie and i got it in the watermelon today i picked up the grape this is the grape one and i also picked up the cherry. There was also orange and pineapple. There's five different flavors in it, so got this too. Okay. Now, into some hair products. There was so much. It was, uh, it was overflowing with them. Okay, back to Softy again. I showed you the mango hair body and scalp oil. In the mango, well, they have the shampoo in it, but I didn't see the conditioner. It was um, gone. The conditioner, I guess people just bought the conditioner for the conditioning reason and, and skipped out on the shampoo. So, um, this came in, what I'm about to show you, this is Honey Lavender. This is Repairing Shampoo, Paraben Free. This is 16.5 ounces, and it's in honey lavender. 
healthy growth and enhancing. It is a purpley color. It is not, you know, liquidy that it's runny liquidy. No, this is good product because this stuff costs money in other stores. And the finest in Dollar Tree, we're very lucky to get it for a buck and a quarter because you can pay an arm and a leg for this. So I got the shampoo and I got the conditioner. And they did have the mango, but in the shampoo, but the conditioners were all gone. They also had it in the olive oil, the shampoo and conditioner. Your choice. So grabbed one of each. And let me tell you, this smells really, really good. And it doesn't have a top on it that you need to take the whole top up. It's the push thing. You push this, and it pops open. So got that. I'm going to go back eventually and get the olive oil one. Because that smells super nice, too. Then I found this product. I found so many of these different things here today under what is called um, hair perfume. And um, by Bolero, I had seen them. Um, and other companies that Dollar Tree's carrying. It's all this hair spritz business. And it's this hair perfume business that's going on. Where you spritz your hair with the... Uh, the um, it has products in it, to, you know, to tame your hair, curl your hair, whatever. But they're also calling it hair perfume, so I don't know. But this one here is by Personal Care. And this is the Sea Salt Hair Spritz Beach Beautiful Style Jasmine and Organic Coconut. 6.7 ounces right here. This big monster bottle of this will last. And... If you really, really like it, I'd say stock up on it. If you've already tried it or when you do try it. It says sea salt hair spritz. Personal care sea salt hair spritz. Add sexy tousled waves and a light matte finish to any hair type. It says shake well and spray onto clean, damp hair from root to tip. Scrunch hair all over with fingers let air dry for an extra volume blow dry with a diffuser and it tells you everything that's in this there is a lot of different stuff in here too much for me to read off right now but if you like stuff like this i say grab them and stock up now this is the personal care one but there are so many different ones out on the dollar sh tree shelves from other companies that do the same kind of stuff it's just whatever works well for you or what sense appeal to you but i'd say this is probably going to last me all summer but um i'm bound to get another one when i go back for the shampoo from the softy and other products that i mentioned here so far because i use stuff like this in my hair every day and it says on damp hair um clean damp hair i usually spritz something like this on my hair and when I wash it, and then the next day I'll spritz a little more, it's much easier for me to get a comb or brush through this long hair that I have. So, got that. I've even bought, um, sometimes in the, when you see the children's um, hair spritzing stuff in that, um, there was one that came out years ago. It had Barbie on it, and then it had some other character on it. And when you spritzed it, it, it smelled like cotton candy. I don't care if it's adult or formulated for children. Either way, I use something like this all the time to spritz and then comb and brush so I don't be ripping all my hair out of my head. Okay, we're down to this now. This is Bolero. And this is, um, I think there was two different fragrances in this. I'm almost 1,000% sure there was two fragrances and two different um uses you know this part where i'm about to read right now so this is Bolero moisture and hydrate shampoo in coconut milk and sweet almond oil say goodbye to dry and hello to silky soft moisture infused hair this is eight ounces it says distributed by raw sugar llc los angeles california and it has a flip top on this right here i don't know if i can get that open yeah see it's a flip top and coconut milk 
and almond, sweet almond oil. Let me get a whiff here. Mm, it does smell nice. And it, it, um, and it comes in a conditioner too. So there's two formulas this. And here is its matching component piece, its sister here. It is the moisture and hydrate conditioner, also in the coconut milk and almond oil, sweet almond oil. Got that too. These are great for traveling, you know, you're traveling somewhere or you're just a person that doesn't like a whole lot of clutter and you prefer smaller bottles. I would say when these are empty, you could probably rinse these out and refill them with um, probably any kind of product you want, like hand cream, you know, to have a more trial size thing and an easy opening type of a cap on them. Or do you want to load them up with some more shampoo and conditioner of your choice? But they are kind of like a periwinkle blue color top. And this is like a blue-gray to the plastic here, too. It's really nice. I also picked up two of these. This is the Boleros. Uh, there might be other products to this line. I, I just can't remember everything that I've seen when it came to this because man that store is packed with stuff today so um this is the moisture and hydrate also banana and uh, coconut milk and banana infused with a hobo oil this is five ounces this is um a hair mask and i picked up two of these i picked up two there was a lot but there was other products and there is a different fragrance there's there's two different fragrances from what i've seen and a number of products besides the shampoo conditioner and the hair mask so that is what i got today at the dollar general in berwick pa and we had ice cream like i mentioned and yes i felt really good today when i got up and as busy doing a little bit of lake cleaning and organizing um, this morning and early afternoon until my husband came home and we had gone out. So the girls are doing good in case anybody's wondering. Um, Duncan Donut and Munchkin, they're doing very well. And my cat, he's a little under the weather. Um, not sure exactly what's wrong with him. They're saying his T levels are off. So we're giving him pills and some kind of a liquid, um, medicine that you have to shoot it in his mouth to get it down his throat um the liquid he takes the pills pretty good because they're not that big they're probably as big as maybe an 81 aspirin um just open up and throw it to the back throat he swallows so everyone please say um a couple prayers for my cat he is 16 years old he just turned 16 at the end of february which was on the 29th because he's a leap year um birth and yeah just keep them in your prayers everybody because i have them such a long time it would i don't even want to think about it but anyway until i see you all again enjoy the weather and i will have some upcoming videos again so stay tuned and if you like this video give it a thumbs up I appreciate everyone who watches these videos. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Um, you watching them, me making them. I actually sit back and I watch my home videos once or twice to make sure I don't sound too off on anything. Um, so, everyone have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday evening. And I'll talk to you real soon. Keep your spirit up, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.